Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, I've, um, I have always get emails asking me what paintbrushes and stuff I use so um, I just ordered myself some paintbrushes, just arrived so I thought I'd share with you guys um, what I actually use. So I get my paintbrushes from a UK supplier called uh, Ken Bromley which is an online supplier. I don't really have anything locally that I can get to. Um, I used to always use the Games Workshop brushes and although they're actually reasonably good brushes, uh, they just don't last very long. That's what I've found. Um, you know, I'd paint a squad of ten men and the brush would be knackered at the end of it. So, um, the brushes that I have in here last much, much longer. And uh, although they are more expensive, you know, that's the reason why I go for them, basically. They just hold their shape and they just last so much longer. So, let's have a look what I've got. Now, Ken Bromley has a minimum order uh, charge, so you've got to order £40 to get it post free, um, which is quite doable really because it's, uh, it's not very often you have to order these brushes, to be fair. They do last an awful long time. So, just have a, a quick look at what I've got. So, I went for a kit this time because it tends to be cheaper. Uh, so, I got myself a kit of four brushes, which is, was £30. Um, and then I've got an additional brush as well, the most popular one that I use. So the ones I use are uh, Windsor & Newton Series 7s, uh, which are basically the Kalinsky Equality Sable um, brushes. And this one, which is my most popular one I use, is a size 0, which is about right for doing most work that you need. Um, I do go smaller than that. I have this one, which I've already got, which is a triple zero. They do do a double zero, but there's not much difference, I find. So the triple zero is my really, really fine detail brush. It's, it's mega small. And I use that for line highlighting. Um, and then this zero one I use for most of the other work. Although, in this pack, I have some different choices. So let's just get this open. Here we go. Uh, in here we have four brushes, they're all different. We have another zero, as I said that's the most, my, pop, my most popular one. I then have a size one, which is fine great for base coating, uh, things like that. And then going up uh, in size, a size two, which is it's a pretty big brush, but I find that quite useful still, especially painting tanks and stuff like the Aldar Wave Serpents and that. It's nice to have a bigger brush. And now this one I've not used before, but it was part of this pack. Um, so this is a size 3, which, well, it's pretty big, but it's not overly big. Again, it could be quite useful for tanks and stuff, maybe even uh, terrain, that type of thing, maybe. Um, it's always good to have a big paintbrush. You never know when you're going to need it. So yeah, those are all the brushes that I got, um, and then running alongside that was this stuff. Now, I promised myself the next time I place an order with uh, this company uh, for brushes that I would get some of this, because I've seen loads and loads of really good reviews for it, um, and I've never had it before. And that is some uh, Colourful Arts Brush Cleaner. Um, yeah, so it's a Ken, again by Ken Bromley, of course. Let's have a quick look, see if I can open it. But uh, I'm told that this is really good at rejuvenating old brushes, and hopefully should just make these brushes uh, last much longer. So I'm going to be interested to have a look at this. I think it's, it's quite a hard one. Uh, it's not like a soft thing. You have to like lather it up, rub it on. But I've got some old brushes here which are just... Basically they've got a load of paint just at the ferrule here, uh, so that when you try to paint they just spread out everywhere. So I'm going to try cleaning these up uh, with this stuff. I'm pretty certain it's going to work because I've had some really good reviews um, on them. But yeah, that's it really. That's what I use. So Series 7, uh, Kalinsky Sable Hair. Um, I believe in America they tend to use the Reaper um, Kalinsky, which I couldn't really find in the UK, so that's why I went for these Series 7s. Uh, but they're basically the equivalent, a UK equivalent. Okay, so that's it for me. Uh, more to come, and I'm going to use these paintbrushes I've got to continue painting my fire dragons. Thanks for watching.